I had so much fun making these flyers and if you wanna know how I made them, stick around for the tutorials. Hey everybody, it's me Bikisa and welcome back to the Canva Cafe. So let's get right into this tutorial. I always start off with a scrap page. So if you watch, I'm going to be just popping different things onto my flyer page. Um, we're doing a prom inspired flyer. So I'm just adding videos and different things that I may use for when I do the motion part of the flyer. So this way it kind of saves me time. So I'm just lining them up just so I can see what I have. So when I get ready to do my color choices and everything like that, I can refer back to um, my scrap page and I'm just adding the wordage and things I want to use. And I thought I was young, so I put season and then I said, girl, you old, put specials. <laughs> so anyway, this is our fictitious flyer and you could just um, substitute everything that I'm using for, of course, your own stuff. And I couldn't decide which models I wanted to use. So I finally found some that look prom-esque type of girls and these are a few frames that I um, wanted to use and I was just refiguring them inside of the um, frame just so it can show the important part which is like their little hairdo because this is a quote-unquote hair um, booking flyer type of situation and once again it's just my scrap page And if you want to know the name of um, some of these things I use, just comment down below. So just go ahead and look. And when I have something important to say, I will come back. Well, I'm back. <laughs> um, one thing, whenever you're doing diamond type of blingy um, elements, it's best to use them on a dark background because it'll help them to pop a little bit more. So. That's why um, I was using the diamond leathers and I made sure I put it against a black background or you could do a dark background. Or maybe you could put a blur or something that's dark behind it to help it pop. So I'm just putting my wordage and I'm using that little slide tool to stretch out the letters um, just so that the um, letters could be spaced out a little bit. And I'm just adding the rest of my details. And I'm using this app right here for the Google map. And I just typed in an um, address and I used one of my friend's address down in Miami in um, Cutler Bay. Um, her name is Gasoline. She is Lavish Touches. So if you want to get your hair done while you down there, look her up. That address is her real address um, down there at her shop. She don't know I'm doing this, but if she ever finds out, I hope she, I hope she approves. <laughs> so with that little Google map, it helps people, of course, to see where you're located. So that's an uh, interesting or extra thing to use. And so I'm just positioning these frames, just however. And after I position them, it position them. It is that wait a minute? What am I saying? After I have positioned them, I'm going to recrop the images by double clicking the image and pulling them and moving them within the frame to show exactly what I want. I didn't really need all those bushes and all that type of stuff. So I'm just repositioning the ladies so that you can see how fabulous they are gonna look after they come and get their hair fictitiously slayed by me. Yes, I know that I am a licensed cosmetologist. I just don't do hair anymore. And you wonder where have I been? I know you didn't ask, but I'm telling you, you I'm also a nurse and I've been working double shift, this shift, hair shift, their shift, and I'm sorry. It's been taking me a while to get these tutorials out. So as you can see, I'm just showing you some suggestions of things that you could add to make it more, you know, special and blingy um, with that little triangle thing pointing down at the specials. And then I'm going to delete it. And I decided to add the, the little deposit or the price or whatever with the same little blingy um, diamond element numbers just to add a little bit extra. 
So because the other one was gold, I wanted to try silver and they didn't have a silver frame. So I used a silver circle and I put the um, frame circle over, um, on top of it if I could speak. And then I'm gonna just re um, insert the pictures into the frame. So that's another way of having a frame that you want that they don't have that you can make it yourself. So that silver could have been red, purple, any other color. Um, and once again, I'm just repositioning them. But Canva, um, I do believe also allows you to, on some of the frames, add a border around it. But silver wouldn't be, you know, one of the real colors, you know, you could do like a gray or something like that or a gradient to make it mimic silver. And so I'm just showing you different um, design inspirations. And of course, if you're going to do a metallic, you should add the flare or bling to emphasize that it's a metallic type of thing. So I'm using the gold one along the edges of the gold. So I'm actually doing two flyers simultaneously. I'm going up and down. So don't get confused because that's just the way I design because I have lots of lots of thoughts in my brain. So, okay. Yeah, did I say brains with an S? <laughs> in my brain. So really you can leave these two flyers as is they are cute just the way they are and once again we're adding the bling so that it looks authentic for the um silver to be blinging in the um diamond down there and i added a little some balloons you know some little extra stuff i do suggest that you put all of your wordage and things like that on your flyers first and then add your images so that way you know that they um can fit what you need and right here, I'm just adding the um, video and I'm showing you that line of demarcation and that looks tacky. So we're going to use a blur to blend um, the black line with the um, video. And you would do that with any video. You just will find a blur or something that matches the color. So I'm lining up the black with the black, if that makes sense, and bringing it as high up as I can so it will seamlessly blend out the harsh black line and i'm gonna put the blur behind all those images i usually put it all the way to the back because it's faster so you put it all the way to the back and then you just move it back forward one one notch so then it'll be right where it needs to be and as you can see that harsh black line is gone and you can't see where the black ends and the video starts so that's like my little tip that i do and in cases where the video may be multicolored and it doesn't blend with the black, you can put something there like balloons or sky, depending on what the image is in the background and your other things, you have to make it make sense, okay? So this is our first video and the other ones, I'm just gonna sh pop them in there so that you can just get some more inspirations. And the video doesn't have to be that long. Um, I just have it long just so you can get a gist of it. You can always click the video and this, um, the thing will pop up at the top where you can shorten your video and then you can make it a little bit more um, tra less transparent so it's not so extra like how that one was so I made it a little bit more um, a little bit less transparent so it's just faintly in the background not doing too much like I like to do but you know if you come here you know I do a lot I'm extra AF and I don't apologize for it um I really want to get out more videos but like i said i'd be so tired from work and um it's a lot of work to record these videos and to edit them and then do my beautiful voiceover <laughs> so i'm sorry if it's taking a while plus i'm also starting a personal vlog page um my bakisa scotland page so, and I got work to do over there too, Chef. So if you're not over there, make sure you follow me. The link should be in the description to follow my um, personal blog. And if you go right here to the filters, you can change colors on those um, blinged out letters so that they can match more. And if you stop the video or slow it down, you'll see what I did. Now, this video, I'm just showing you, you can put it in different directions. You don't have to do it straight across like I did the first time. You can put it on the side. And as you can see, I'm using that blur again to blend out the edge so you, could, you can't see where the video starts and the background um, ends. So here's another thing. If you want to move, you can just hover over one. And when you see the purple line, you can let it go and it'll automatically pop into that, that next spot. So you don't have to click the up button to move 
um, if you have several pages on the um, on your Canva. And I'm just going to show you how you can just change up the background colors to, you know, try different things for your brand. Maybe holiday time, you can change it for, from pink to try whatever color. And now I'm going to do more extra stuff because <laughs> so I'm going to pop a video, a sparkly video inside the frame and I'm going to make sure it fits behind the circle and I'm going to put it all the way behind. So like you see right here, it just adds a little extra, a little extra something, something. And I put it all the way in the back. So it's just a little bit of the video and I'm blowing it up so you can see how it looks. And right there, like I said, Canva sometimes allows you to put a border around some of the frames and it gives you opportunity to do, you know, different colors. So let me know which one you like the most. The glittery one was my favorite. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Love you. Bye.